Down here and seeing the beach and the ocean and everybody having fun in the summertime makes me want to have money. And Peachy's in my life now. And I know like she's not shown any kind of tolerance or long suffering or patience or wanting to build my business together with me or anything. So it's like if I don't have money right away, like she'll go find a guy that does. That's a lot of why my insecurities were there was because I could tell she never liked cared about me. She just wanted what was best for her. And like every single time she'd shun me or treat me like shit or call me a name or whatever it was, just the, she would do naughty little things. It was telling me she didn't care about me and um, that I wasn't that important to her and that she would prefer to be, to she preferred herself first and um and that made me insecure you know it did it made me very insecure and um but it was her behavior that did it it wasn't the personhood of her i separate personhood from behavior you know like the person peachy had was perfect she didn't have anything wrong she i can t i'm a hundred percent capable of handling all truth without getting offended um, she's the one who pushed me away like she's the one that judged me as being unacceptable or something you know she's the one that had the intolerance um, and uh, I asked her many times if she wanted like casual sex with me or something but she always said no she wanted a relationship uh, on the phone she said this other day, I guess she said uh, she didn't want that much, meaning a relationship. So it makes me wonder what that much or less than that much does mean, you know. But uh, I don't know. I hope she will come back and be my good wife. That is actually good. And stays with me because I could become very rich. And we could have a lot of fun. And I know richness is not happiness. I already know that. I, I have a disdain, not a disdain or hatred for money, but I don't like really like money that much. It's kind of this dirty thing that gives you false sense of power and love and all that. But it would be cool to be able to play with her and pay for her bills and needs and stuff. And I don't mean pay for her bills like just to pay for her bills and to be a simp. I mean like so that we could go do things. It'd be cool if I had enough money to pay the bills for me and her to just go play and do what we want all the time. And have the best life ever. Um, that'd be nice, you know? Uh, it'd be cool. If, and if we can't have money, then it'd be cool to figure another way to get access to all the toys and play events that we want without money somehow. But it'd be cool to do it with money. But I'm sure there's other ways of doing it too. Um, uh, they maybe have less glory on them or something I don't know I really don't know but um, I know my creative capability to make inventions should put me in one of the highest of high leader positions on this whole planet um, I just have to use my mind creatively and uh, I really need to be loved I'm 39 almost 40 and I've never had love and except for my mom and I've never really felt that accepted by a woman ever, except for my mom, and it'd be nice. It'd be nice to feel inspired and motivated and accepted.